Hello, and in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can add a simple HUD to your game mode. So, get into your CL underscore init Lua file, which is, remember, your client side Lua file. And I was going to hand code all this, but I figured it'd be a lot easier if I actually write it all so you can have all the comments and everything, and then walk you through it. So, to start off with, we're going to make a new function called should HUD draw, and this takes a name. So, this is going to be the name of the thing it wants to draw. And then what it does is we have a simple for loop. K is for counting up to these. And then V is going to be one of these. And it says if what you're trying to draw is whichever one it's currently on, then don't draw it. So, for example, if it's trying to draw the ammo, so name would be CHUD ammo, it then goes through this and goes, okay, is what you're trying to draw the health? It goes, no, and it goes, okay, then. Is what you're trying to draw the battery? It goes no, and it goes okay then. It says, is what you're trying to draw CHUD ammo? And it goes, yes, that's what I'm trying to draw. And it says, in that case, if what you're trying to draw is CHUD ammo, then return false, so don't draw it. Then we add a hook. Now, what a hook is, is when something happens or when a certain function is called, we make our own function do something. So, for example, when it's trying to draw something, so HUD should draw, we make a hook called hide HUD, that can just be called whatever you want, and that calls our should HUD draw function. So, whenever it tries to draw something, it says, okay, should I draw this, and calls our function up here, which then excludes these health, battery, ammo, and secondary ammo things. So, this pair up here means that the default HUD will not draw. Now, we just need to create our own. So, we're going to have the HUD paint function, to make our own HUD. And by the way, I've said HUD a ton of times now. All it means is heads up display, so it'll have your health, ammo, and that kind of thing. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to fix some glitches as we've done before, so self.base class HUD paint. And because we're in the client file, we need to actually set the player. So we're going to have a local variable called PL, and we're just going to set that to the local player function. So that basically gets our player. We then have HP, ammo, and total ammo variables, and the HP is set to the player's health, just using the health function. We get the ammo using, we get the active weapon, and then get its current clip, and we get the total ammo by counting the ammo of the active weapon's primary ammo type. And these are all just functions to get things. Okay, so now we have our HP, ammo, and total ammo. What we need to do is we need to actually draw these to the screen. So to start off with, we're just going to make a font. So we go create font, and mine's going to be based around Arial. So the first parameter is the type of font you want to base it around. The second is the size, so I want mine to be size 50. Third is the weight, so basically boldness. And mine's going to be 300, so that's quite a lot. Next is anti-aliasing, do you want it? True or false? I do want mine. And do you want italic? No, I don't. And then the last one, what you want to call your font. So I've called mine R font. You can call it whatever you like, but down here you need to change it from whatever you've called it. So we've created a font called R font. And now we're going to just set the text color. So 255, 255, 255, 255. That just makes it white. If you know anything about colors in computers, you'll understand why that makes it white. And we're then going to set the text position. Now, you see what I do here is I do some calculations using the screen width, which is just a function to get the screen width and the screen height, which is just a function to get the screen height. And then it does some division and either minuses or adds. And all of this is, is the first parameter is the x value and the second parameter is the y value. To find these, all I literally did was code, test, change values, test, change values, test, until I found something that I thought looked good. Okay, and then next we set our font to our actual font. Then we draw the text so we draw the health value, and that's at the position that we've set, and that's just in the bottom left-hand corner. We then set a text position to somewhere else. This happens to be in the bottom right-hand corner. And then we draw the ammo value. We then set the text position to slightly lower, and we draw our total ammo value. And then we finally end our HUD paint function. Now remember, we don't need to add a hook for this HUD paint, because it's already one of these functions that uses GM. So it's already going to be called when it wants to paint the HUD. So just save your client file, 
and we can now test it out. So just click Start New Game, uh, select a map, just go to the little spanner, and then choose your mod out of the little drop down box. Click Start Multiplayer, and it'll just load up. Okay, so it'll say Welcome Admin because we've programmed that in the previous lesson. And then we'll have this HUD, which has your health in the bottom left-hand corner, and your ammo, and then total ammo in the bottom right-hand corner. And you can see these do work by just shooting. And then the total ammo updates when you change a clip. So that's the end of this lesson, and have a nice day.